Yeah, well, hi everybody. This is Dr. Jason W. Morrison, theologist, New South Wales, Australia. We're here to do the viewer's voice. And let's get started, shall we? Venora, hi Venora. Jesus never burdened his apostles' followers with the extracurricular rules like the governing body do. He never wanted to control his followers. He just gave them such wonders of his love. Them and us. Kurt DeMont, great videos, a real eye-opener. Thank you. Captain Allen, pro-theologist, excellent point. Uh, Captain Allen started up here, didn't he? Okay, opposing, groupthink, and pedophile cover-ups must also allow for logic and clear thinking regarding this cult. Following the logic of the video producer, Dr. Theology, well, he couldn't even get, poor old, Captain Allen didn't get that right, did he? Concludes that crime perpetrators are not allowed police protection and due process. Conscientious objectors and peaceniks are condemned for their position regarding military service. Theology doctor of vigilantism is the conclusion I arrive at, is it? This video is an example of groupthink at its worst. Watchtower's backward position regarding pedophile protection does not disallow them police protection. Well, it should. Because if they don't want to keep the law on the one hand and hand these pedophiles in, why, why, does, why have they got this double standard? Dr. Theology, you are an idiot. Am I? A fool and a hate monger of the highest order. You lack any knowledge of Jesus' teachings and are an example of childish reasoning. Vomit, you are. Very constructive, isn't it? Um, viewers, get that wasp off my sandwich. Very constructive, um, Alan. Um, anyway, Captain Alan comes back at the end after a bit of a talk, and he says, Pro-theologist, excellent point. Perhaps it was your zealous zeal that I perceived as getting in the way of cold, hard logic. However, there are individuals that can easily be roused to perform unspeakable acts. The power of your forum cannot be minimized, therefore, the ideas expressed must be honored carefully. Our human hearts can protract our energy to ends we may regret in retrospect. I have to say, sometimes people jump to conclusions, um, and I've done that myself. JW Suicides. The JW Reactions to Stuart have gotten more Scientology-esque. Stuart has put himself on the front line like others before him, and current XJWs. He gets criticised a lot, but he keeps in there. Critics say the rest of us are urging him towards a disastrous outcome. Nobody's urging Stuart towards anything. Not at all. Cart witness unwitnessing is being refined by campaigners every week. Just made it too. I think there are different approaches to cart unwitnessing. I do honestly think people need to be careful with the content they make public on here because sometimes you only get one chance to make an impression on a wavering witness or even someone studying with them. If a video comes across a passive, aggressive, etc., it just isn't going to help people wake up. It may just confirm the stereotype of a wild apostate and they will click off the video and likely never watch any more here from anyone. And then as entertaining as the videos may be to watch. The bigger the picture is what matters, rather than people just venting personal frustrations. In my opinion, a calm, reasoned approach is best. At least in this video, there was a conversation taking place. Well, I suppose there's many different ways you can evangelize, and everybody's got their opinion. Um, and uh, maybe you could show us uh live your approach just made it you've got pretty sensible um idea there i'd like to see it in action 
Paco Merrick, the new Sion de Salon Dio, Dion, Celine Dion, sorry, that's about the worship video. Beautiful, I love it. Blessings to you, Green Goddess. Jenny B. 52, this is a great proverb to the end day. I spent the whole day watching the rest is AD and how Peter raised Tabitha Saul's conversation and how Cornelius was brought into the faith. So good too. Good on you, Jenny B. <clears throat> Dawn Ross, here it is Sunday morning and we're off out. Good on you, get out and live. Lots to do, so I probably won't catch this, but I hope it goes well. It went okay, that was the live. Um... JW Pest Control. Yep, Stuart is an awesome activist. He has raised the bar for sure. We can all learn a lot from his style of activism. We most certainly can, JW Pest Control. Maladroit Gush. You asked if anyone had a theological question. Malachi 3 verse 1. JW say the messenger is the governing body. This was repeated as re recently as two years ago in the Watchtower and the local assembly. However, Mark 1 and Matthew 11 say it was John the Baptist. Well, it was John the Baptist. Mal, yep. Another one we have trouble with is Romans 12, where the wording is changed in the New World Translation. It changes the whole meaning of the chapter and of Romans. Have a look. I would like to hear your comments as a theologist. Okay. Um... We know it was John the Baptist, so we don't have to worry about that. Romans 12, I'll have a look at it another time. Romans 12 verse 1 in the New World Translation, where it changes acceptable worship to power of reason. Yeah, um, you have to go to Hebrews 5, um, and I think it's verse 14 where it says, and I think we'll go there now. Hebrews 5 and 14. I wonder if I've got something up we can go to here. Hebrews 5. Hebrews 5, 14. What have we got? But solid food belongs to those who are of full age. That is, those who by reason of use have exercised their senses to be able to discern both good and evil. Um, bear with me, Mal. So, worship and power of reason. Um, worship on the ha one hand, as long as it's glorifying Jesus, is fine. Power of reason, on the other hand, as long as it's searching out Jesus, is fine also. But if it's not Christ-centered, really it's meaningless and a waste of time. So I hope that helps, Mal. Many, I'm just going to say men, bang. They are selling the kingdom's halls to the insurance companies. They probably are. Good point. Jane Doe. Now, how much has she got? Green point. Oh, great point. They are shrinking. They are getting harsher with the remaining members too. The way they hope to gain members now is by forcing family members back into the fold. This is working to some degree. They prey on family members who are in need and force them to go to the meetings as a condition for financial help. I worry that the end of the JWs will get dramatic and violent, and it probably will and it usually does. The shunning will become worse, I reckon, and more severe. The day that governing body even hints that force should be used then there will be hell to pay. Well, don't put it past them. They're silly enough to do that. The governing body are in general high school dropouts, low IQ individuals with minimal life skills. A few have been janitors, groundkeepers, etc. They do not have the mental ability, life skills or training to know how to deal with the responsibility they have been assumed. Pray for them. It must be absolute hell to be in the position they are in. <laughs> And imagine they can ask God for guidance when they believe they are God. Mm. They must sense that they are all alone and that God is not directing them. But they do have their spirit channel, their spirit guide, 
and are very afraid of their spirit guide, very afraid. Jesus is the way. I do not fear Jesus. Thank you for your guest videos and keen insight. Peace. Thank you as well. All right. Nigel Eunice. Nigel Eunice. They are so brain dead. I say this because I was a JW, but I have to say I went with the flow. I first started doubting when the remnant numbers started going up. That's when I started to do more research. Then I stumbled on the molestation cases and I remembered how they absolutely slagged off the Catholic Church publicly. And then next I found out about the failed prophecies and read directly in the Bible what the Bible says about false prophets. Merv Johnson, Nigel Eunice, how long were you in the religion? And what shock was it when you found out? Can you tell me more? Um, not in this religion, and not an ex, or a member, would like to hear your words of truth. Merv Johnson, yes, I was over 20 years a member, but I was never comfortable because as a child I was abused, so naturally very suspicious, not by JWs. It was not until I did what the Bible says, dig for the truth. I then researched in the, in the internet, firstly the RRC, and was a complete shock. Then hearing their nonsense, two witnesses rule, and seeing how blindly my wife and daughters still are active with this sheesh despite me showing all the proof I've found. They are indoctrinated. My wife is a third generation DW. But as Marcus points out, they are stupid. And it pains me to see how my family does not research, for example www.jwfacts.com And there it is. jwfacts.com Facts about the Jehovah Witnesses. Excuse me. I have had many arguments, so I pray for the destruction of this cult and can assure anyone it is coming. The JWs are generally honest people, but misguided, and as the Bible says, blinded by the angel of light, Satan. I've also seen many changes they have made to the Bible to fit their doctrine. I bought a King James Version and can see first what had first hand what they had done, and finally the failed prophecies is what sets them apart from all other religions and how blatant they lie. Mm. The amount of damage claims will bankrupt this publishing company and prove finally that this is not God's organization. Do your own research, not using bias material. Merv Johnson, Nigel Eunice. I was shocked when I saw about the child molestation abuse on the YouTube. I couldn't believe what I saw. It was unbelievable. So I said, this isn't true. And then I saw another YouTube and then finally the light hit the eye and it was true. This cannot be happening, but it was and it is. And I've seen the videos and it's happening all, ar all around. It's blooming everywhere, United States, Canada, Australia, Netherlands, Finland, Scotland, and now New Zealand on the latest. This is rampant, all over popping, everywhere. This is a, a sin against man, against God Almighty, innocent children. There is a price to be paid, and some of the members don't know what is going on in the cover-ups. And I saw the special that was on A&E on cable a while back exposing what is going on and then i saw one on barbara anderson she did a good job she was going on and she took an action hopefully things will come to justice for this innocent for these innocent victims <coughs> mm. phoenix 007 the bad thing is that they will take this as persecution. They will say that Armageddon is closer because they are being attacked and their followers will be more indoctrinated to the bone. Pure paranoia. Green Goddess. Good one. Funny Marcus cracks me up. He's spot on always. Marcus Vaughan, ex Bephalite. Verona Moon. I'm thankful for the age ones that remain. 
Might they usher in the beginning of the end for Jehovah Witnesses. I do hope the young ones wake up and walk out, for which I pray every day. I pray that it be known their crimes of child abuse, bloodshed according to the blood doctrine, shunning and suicides, would all be known in the clean clearness of you light by the world, that the world would turn on Jehovah Witnesses and devour it, putting this publishing business out of operation, along with eight governing body members, and as an added bonus, the proverbial cherry on top, that the govern, eight governing body would be forced to make restitution, meeting humiliation and having to pay for all the pain and suffering they have inflicted, having to take responsibility for once. Almost sounds biblical. Thanks for Nora. Just made it. I heard that the JWs were growing in Africa and South Africa, America, and shrinking in Western countries like the UK, US, and Germany, etc. Um, nobody knows. Uh, nobody knows. The, I don't know. If, look, they're trying to get away from the... They're trying to get the people out of the third world-style companies, uh, countries. But um, I don't know to what exists success that is having because they're after the money and the money's not in these countries there is some but not to the extent that they've been making in the UK and the United States etc <clears throat> Janice Wilson that's what I was thinking governing body don't even follow the government they're supposed to leave everything in Jehovah's hands yet the hypocrites are going to them now they call the government Satan. So why are they going to Satan for help? Because they, they've double, got double standards, Janice. Well done, you are doing a great job. Yeah, they've got double standards. They just suit themselves. Bob Gilbert, man-made religion is not the answer. Churches are a place for those that believe in God to join together for his glory. Sharing in the love of the Lord, he is the answer. You must experience the spirit of truth to know it relationship then understanding spiritual union with of a like mind in love my experience with god brought me into his love spirit filled renewed by his love not mine god's love me first then the holy spirit teaches you jw has a work-based faith the cart before the horse learning their opinion of god and doctrine and changing your behavior brings you into his standard then love only experience is condemnation, not truth. Never good enough. The cross taught me that the Lord Jesus is enough. That's so important. The cross taught me that the Lord Jesus is enough. His love is unconditional. Spent most of my life with a fear of God and Armageddon thinking it was all about me making God happy or sad. Mmm. Mostly sad. My experience as a J-Dub. Fear. Thanks, Prophetologist, for your prayers and insight on both theological and heartfelt concerns for others. God bless and thank you, sir. Derek O'Shea. Stay strong, bro. Mr. Chinchilla. The Lord is after them. Yahoo. Run. Watchtower. Run. Green Goddess. I like everyone is deserving of life, except who they say doesn't have the right heart condition mm. <clears throat> um, they can't read hearts though but they do but they can't only God can but they do and they judge even though they don't they do I'm so confused oh no oh wait no I'm awake thank God I'm awake ah well done Devon Diaries hi Devon there are many on YouTube from the baby raping cult watchtower and try to shut down awake ones. They must be dirty elders with their secret elder books on the commands of the governing body shit. Bags. I was groomed by a married elder for sex and also I know his few weeks ago at JW she went to an elder and said about the ARC. He said, don't worry, we have other things to do. Shutting her down and not letting anyone know about the pedophiles. Mm. Sounds typical, Devon, of their behaviour. 
Devon Diaries. The JW Watchtower followers come on here bullying the awake ones. The cult is evil and you're seeing them now as the write-up and are evil pagans. They don't believe in God at all. Devon Diaries. Look all how men from the cult bully women and raping children and are a part of it as they turn a blind eye. Now all see these ones who ride up on here, trying to shut people up as people expose the evil cult, and all in it. Paddy Osborne, not sure why you refer to Stuart as an evangelist. Oh my goodness, there's a hundred reasons why, Paddy. I never heard him talk about Jesus. That's not to say I don't admire what he does. I'm happy to see both of your activism. Thanks, Paddy. I don't know what else you could call him, an activist, but I think, I'm sure if he got the opportunity, he would tell people these people about Jesus. But it's like speaking to a brick wall, isn't it? This is Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist, New South Wales, Australia. Bye for now. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. If you watched it on YouTube, please share or like. Um, maybe even comment if you watched it on Facebook. Like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one of life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.